Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, did you ever want to get into the FPV hobby, but you know, buying the goggles, the radio, the drone, the battery charger, it's, it's all confusing. So you probably looked at some of the reviews I've done in the past. You know, I did a review from Emacs that had a beginner kit. I did one from Beta FPV. I did one from GEPRC. I did one from iFlight and I reviewed all those kits and basically they are all beginner kits and they're beginner kits in a method of getting your toe, you know, like dipping your toe into the water. It gets you into the FPV hobby with the gear that's included, but after a while, as your skills progress, you know, maybe after a month of flying or even after a few weeks, you might outgrow the kit and you go, I want better goggles. I want a better radio. I want a better FPV drone. So then you're kind of starting from scratch all over again. And then you need another battery charger because it takes bigger batteries. So there's really nothing on the market to help you out until now. Well, actually there is. There's this thing over here. This is called the Eashine Novice 4. And the reason they call it novice is because it is a beginner kit, but it takes you all the way up to like the novice intermediate level. In other words, if you buy this kit, you don't have to buy yourself new goggles, a new radio, a new drone, battery charger, or even batteries, because everything in here is, it's pretty much stuff that I would use. Yeah, so let me show you what you get. I'm just gonna lift this up and behind it is everything that's gonna go flying. All right, in that bag, you get everything you possibly could think of. So the first thing you get is a drone, but you don't get a crappy drone. You get a long range, under 250 gram, drone that somebody like me would buy. I would buy this off the shelf. And matter of fact, if I could show you all the drones up above me, I have an awful lot that are like this. This drone has everything you want and it's perfect because it's under 250 grams. It's got a GPS rescue on the back. So if you fly it too far, they have designed it that if you fly too far and you go out of range, it just pops up in the air and comes back to you. Yeah, seriously, on an FPV drone. Now, it doesn't land itself. You have to take over control of the drone as it gets near you, but at least you don't lose it. Now, say the battery ran out and it did land someplace. Well, on the bottom, it has a beeper and a beeper finder with a light that's going to run. Even if the battery on top is dead, this beeper will make a loud screeching sound and it has a light on it so you can find this drone. All the components that are in here, the motors, everything, the props, it's all pro grade. It's all the stuff we use in the FPV hobby. So this drone is actually a really good drone. And by itself, it would probably cost a few hundred dollars, but it's included in the kit. Not only that, my kit came with four batteries. Yeah, so I have four batteries. They're all four cell batteries. And if you put this four cell battery on this drone, you'll get 20 minutes of flight time. You could buy a different battery that's gonna give you like over 30 minutes of flight time, but that's just crazy. You know, if you're flying with goggles on, 30 minutes it's a long time to fly. So they do sell kits with just two batteries, but mine came with four batteries and they are actually good batteries. They're four cell batteries. They are 1100 milliamp hours, not 850. These are 1100. So high end, you know, for capacity and they didn't cheap out. They could have given you a 3S battery, like three cell battery, because it will fly perfectly fine on three cell batteries, but no, they went with four cell batteries. So once again, you can use these in any drones you buy in the future and they have XT30 connectors on them and the drone has an XT30 connector connector as well. And to charge those batteries, they included a LiPo battery charger with a big power brick that comes off this. And it is not a pro battery charger. It's more like a beginner battery charger because there's no buttons. I can't press any buttons on it to do any settings. So basically you just, it's made for beginners. You just connect the battery, connect the power. It does everything for you. And a matter of fact, it's designed to charge these batteries that come with it, as well as the battery in your remote control. And speaking of the remote control, they give you a TX-12. Radio Master is a big company in the world of RC hobby. And Radio Master makes a lot of radios that are super popular. If you go to the field, a lot of people have Radio Master radios because they usually have multi-protocol chips in them. What does that mean, multi-protocol chip? That means that if you have a radio like this and you bought a drone from a store and it came with one type of receiver, and then you bought another drone and it came with a different type of receiver, there's a good chance that this radio can connect to either receiver because it's multi-protocol. It connects to many different types of receivers. It's not just a one type receiver radio. And inside this radio are two 18650 batteries and they're included in this kit. You get two of them right here. This radio out of the box, pull it out of the kit. It's got power in it. 
this drone, attach a battery, and they are already bound together. You don't have to do anything. The manual tells you what switches to hit to make it fly, and that's it. It will fly. And if you want, you can put voice in it. I've added voice to mine. Welcome so to OpenTM. There we go. It talks, and it will talk Switch when I... Switch warning. Thank you. It tells me all sorts of warnings. Our motors. Angle mode. So I can switch. Mode. Angle mode. Horizon mode. And here, all the... Where's my buzzer? buzzer. There's my buzzer. Buzzer. Yeah, right there. So I have all the settings on here so that if I have goggles on, I can hear what's going on when I'm flicking mode. the switches. Mode. So really good radio for that. And uh, what I'm going to do is in my setup, I'll show you how I put the sounds in it. And one last thing I want to say about the radio is, check this right back here. I have one. I have one. So this here comes with a radio I already own, and I've done a full video review on this radio, and you could check it out. I'll put the links down below to my full video review on the radio. So it's a really good radio. A lot of people in the RC hobby use this because it's perfect for FPV drones. It's so small, it fits in your bag nicely, and it's a full featured radio. If you want to put Crossfire in this thing, a Crossfire module, like get a drone with Crossfire, you can take off the back and put a Crossfire module in here. So it's very advanced. Finally, the last thing in the kit would be your goggles now everybody wants fpv goggles and look at this look what's on the top of this you have a patch antenna that comes with this and you have a mushroom antenna so the way that works is a mushroom antenna is for when you have your goggles on and your fpv drone is going around you but you're facing one direction it's all right that's why it's round because it can get the video signal from any place around you this here patch antenna is if you look straight at the direction of the drone it gets the signal so in other words if you fly far away then just just keep facing in the direction of the drone and you will get the video signal back into the patch antenna. Now, Iashin says, out of the box, this thing is designed to go 1,000 meters. But I wouldn't chance it because, you know, you could lose your video signal. Uh, you're not going to lose your connection with the, the transmitter radio, but you probably lose the video signal. But if you do lose the connection with the transmitter radio, say you turn it off or something, the battery dies, the GPS rescue in here, out of the box, it's all configured to just go, oh, there's no more signal. It will just pop up, turn around, and come back to you. And the final thing to say about everything here is that you don't need anything else. Everything's included. So these goggles are rechargeable and, uh, oh, sorry, maybe you do need something else because they do take a micro SD card if you want to record your video. Your There's a little DVR in here to record what you see. Uh, so you'll have to put a micro SD card, your own, because it doesn't come with one in there. But other than that, they're rechargeable and they work and they give you the charger for it. This here comes with the batteries. They're fully charged when you receive them and you can charge this up and I'll show you in the setup how to charge it up. It's too easy. And finally, these batteries are almost all fully charged when you receive them so you can go flying almost immediately. And the drone comes with the props already on it. The only thing you have to do is take this big antenna at the back. It's hanging down. You just push it up like this and there's two screws you screw in and then you're ready to fly. As soon as you power this on, the signal goes right into the goggles. You can see it. All the information is there. As soon as you power this on, it controls this. You see the information in the goggles. Everything works together out of the box. All right, so I sound pretty excited about all this. And that's because for a guy like me who's been flying for so long, there are no kits on the market that give you something of this quality for a beginner all in one kit like everything right here normally you buy this you buy that from one company from another company everything else but here it's all in one and it's ready to go and it's all of a little bit higher than you know like your beginner level so it's like intermediate level basically all this stuff and like i said goggles you can use this with any drone that's analog on the market they will work your radio will work with almost any receiver on the market and of course then you have your little charger to get yourself going and you get all the batteries for them if you pick the four battery kit and then you have the drone that is just like a lot of the big brand names on the market matter of fact i think it's a copy of one of the brand names and it is a long range drone really simple to fly really easy flyer smooth and it's under 250 grams so you can't go wrong with this stuff the only thing you can go wrong with is the price so you might look below i'm going to put links below and the price might be eh, kind of scary for you but that's because you're getting all the, you're not getting you're not getting the low quality stuff you're getting some good quality stuff here all right out of my field ready to fly this baby and i have to tell you the following it's really cold out here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the record on here and record with these goggles but when i fly I'm going to fly with my fat chucks because the lenses here adjust for my eyeglass prescription. So to turn the record on on the goggles, you just hold the record button down. If you hit it once, it just takes a photo. I discovered that. <laughs> 
and I got to see a little red thing. Yep, flashing up in the right hand corner. So that's all good. And finally, the last thing to tell you is if you want to use the GPS rescue the very first time you fly this drone, it takes about three minutes to get the satellites. So you'll see it in your goggles if you have longitude latitude. Now, what I've done in beta flight on mine is I've adjusted it so that I don't have to have the GPS functioning to take off. If out of the box you buy this, the GPS has to receive the satellites before it allows you to take off. So I've, I've disabled mine so that I can just fly. All right, so we're about to take off. Can you see me over here, GoPro? So the drone is down there on the end of my Jeep, on the Jeep bed. It's gonna fly away. I do have an Insta360 Go on it, as well as the camera. So I'll show you video from both. Here we go. All right, put my fat sharks on. There we go. Oh, look at this. At the top, hopefully you can see this. I see the longitude latitude. So it means the GPS rescue is functioning. So I guess it got enough satellites while I was sitting here talking, no problem there. So I'm gonna put it in acro mode. Wrong. Acro mode. Right. So here we go. Let's arm it and uh, let's get the heck up there. Woohoo! All right, baby. Okay. So let me just bring it back to me so you can see me. The image is very clear. Very clear. So there I am down there. It's very windy out here. So this is going to blow in the wind a little bit, but uh, no problem controlling it because it's a really good drone. I know they modeled this drone after other really long range, uh, under 250 drones. And uh, yeah, it's the same idea. I could tell just taking it out of the box and flying it around my house. I always fly drones when I first get them in my basement. And this one here flew super stable, super easy. So I'm in acro mode right now. And you'd almost think I was in angle mode because it's just such a smooth flyer. All right, so uh, the video that you're seeing, I've got the Insta360, I'm going into the sun, so that's probably not too good. So I've got the Insta360 Go. I'm gonna try to face away from the sun as well as the camera on here and it's analog so it's receiving the reception and there we go try not to hit anything hopefully you can see this on my display you see a little arrow at the bottom it's pointing down it's telling me how many meters i am away from me right now it says i'm over 200 meters away flying towards the water and into the sun again so maybe i'll point it this way so you can see it maybe you see it a little bit better it says 304 meters away and the arrow shows me where home is so that's the great thing about having a drone with gps rescue or gps on it you can never get lost and not know where home is because it it basically tells you where home is which direction so watch as i aim back towards me the arrow points straight up and then i can fly back to me now apparently iashin says you're supposed to get one kilometer range 1000 meters with this thing out of the box uh, but it all depends what your environment is what's around you and everything and um, yeah so i've got trees and all sorts of things and make sure you don't have any interference in the area so right now i'm behind me so this is what it looks like from behind me I'm just saying that because the video, um, the analog video on the goggles that are sitting on the bed of my car, when I go behind my, uh, my Jeep, uh, the Jeep is blocking the reception because they're really low. They're sitting right on the back of my vehicle. So right behind my head back there. The, so if you're still seeing a video signal when I do that, then uh, they're really, really good. So the next thing you probably want to know is, can you do freestyle on this drone? I don't know. Let's try it. So let's just go up a little bit here in the wind and let's just do some uh, nice little smooth turns. Oh my God, yeah, it's easy to do freestyle. If you can do freestyle on a drone, slow turns like that, like look at how slow I can do the turn, then you know the drone is gonna be good for freestyle. If I had to do, like you see a lot of people when they're first flying, beginners, whatever, they do this, fast turns like that, that's okay. Every drone can do that, but uh, if you want a drone that's good for freestyle, yeah, you can try them in slower turns. They work a lot better. Same as if you're going to do something like, I don't know, a forward flip. You're looking for your horizon. As long as you don't drop a lot, then it's really good. So it didn't drop at all there. And if I do reverse, there we go. I'm doing them slow. Yeah, not much of a drop. So it doesn't weigh very much, even with the battery. So the motors are... Uh, extremely powerful for something like this. Okay, so something very important to tell you, this is an FPV drone. FPV, I could do beautiful little things like that as I've already shown you the freestyle. A lot of people want to fly FPV because you have total control over the drone and you can do a lot of amazing flight things. 
but it's very difficult to fly FPV. So this is a kit that you're gonna have to practice and learn on. But I have a review of a Beta FPV kit coming up, all-in-one kit. It's coming up really soon, and it's designed for people who have no sense of direction. I am serious, they made an FPV kit for such people. So if you can't fly FPV because it's too difficult for you, Beta FPV made a kit for you. So basically, the drone has optical flow on the bottom, if you can believe that. Yes, optical flow. So that means when you're flying the drone, it's always checking the ground and it will keep the drone stable and go over objects. I'm serious. You're going to see that review coming up, so stay tuned for that. All right, so what I want to do now is bring this back into me and uh, land it. So I'm going to do some nice slow flying here. Let's bring it down slow, 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 low and slow. So here we go. There we go. My little display says I'm 19 meters away. I think that's off because my self is right here. All right, there's the sun. There I am. Let's just spin around. Let's bring it in front of me. And I got to remember where my arm button is on this thing. And let's put it down right in front of me. So this thing here flies amazing, guys. It flies amazing. There we are. I found the arm button, yay! All right, so on the screen, if my record is still working, it tells you how long I was flying, uh, eight minutes. Uh, there's my, hey, it tells you my max speed. So the, I didn't even know it had a speed thing on here. I went 84, I would have went faster if I would have known that. Uh, there's my battery, RSSI 50%, not a big deal, max current and all the other good stuff. There's even a black box on it. So all that information is pretty cool. There is inside this here drone, you can go into the OSD and play with a bunch of settings, but I'm not gonna do that. That's for more advanced people. When, and this is a beginner kit. So beginners, you'll play with that later when you get into this. Inside the goggles that come with this here drone, the display is really, really clear when I look in with my glasses on, but the problem is just get, oh, look at that. I can fit it over my glasses. Check that out. Check that out. I didn't even know that. Look at that. I can get it over my glasses. Hang on a sec. I might be able to get this to work with my prescription. I can get it to work with my prescription. Okay, guys, if you wear glasses, look at, look at the size of my glasses here on my head. It does fit over your glasses. Holy crap. And it works with my prescription. I can see everything. I wish I would have known that ahead of time. The next thing I want to show you is everything that comes in the box and how to set it up because there's a few things you have to do to set it up. Very, very minor. But watch this and uh, you'll be out flying this thing in seconds or minutes. All right, check this out. And now a super quick Captain Drone unboxing. This is the case everything comes in. Let's open it up and check out what's inside. So we have our FPV racing drone. We have our battery charger. Let's move over to the mushroom antenna you're going to put on your goggles. Here's our TX12 radio. Here are your EV800DM goggles and they're pretty decent. And this little white thing would be your power plug for the goggles. Then you have your 4S LiPo batteries. Then over here is your power supply battery plug. Now we're at more accessories. I'm going to show you everything. So here we go. First up we have our 4S inch very lightweight long range drone and Yishin calls it a racing drone here's our GPS rescue unit at the back which is going to save your bacon if you get into trouble here's the antenna it goes up to 400 milliwatts the little receiver antenna stick out the back just make sure they never touch the props the motors are brushless motors at 2750 kV and it does have four inch props which are very popular you can get lots of replacements it is a carbon fiber frame so you can smash it crash it and you can see the arms pop off with a few screws and you have your finder beeper and light at the back and it is extremely loud trust me on that the fpv camera is a cat x fpv baby ratel 2 a tried and true camera very well known it has an xt30 connector so you can connect any battery with an xt30 if you wish it does have an f4 flight controller and a 4-in-1 esc system weight of the drone with props is 126 grams and if we add the included 4s battery we're up to 216 grams Included is a 2S to 4S battery charger. The goggles have a diversity receiver that makes use of the mushroom and patch antenna. The goggles also have a focus control by pulling out the front or pushing it back in. Video channel and menu buttons are found on the top of the unit. And on the bottom of the unit, you'll find your search button so you can search for channels as well as your micro SD slot and your record button. To charge up the goggles, a cable and adapter is included as well. If you want to run video into the goggles, an adapter is included. All right, enough about the goggles. Let's move on to the TX12 radio. Now, I've done a full review on this radio because it is a full featured radio and it takes an entire review to get through it. So I'm going to have links below this video to my full review. You'll want to check it out. 
Now, the only thing I wanted to mention is that when you receive the radio, the battery that's included with the radio is not connected. So just plug it in the back you see right here, push the batteries in, power on the radio, and you're good to go. Now, the 4S batteries included with this drone are actually perfect for this drone. They're not super heavy. They're the right capacity, so you get a nice flight time. Other accessories included would be spare props, the battery grip, the battery strap, and spare screws, and a few other odds and ends such as a micro Phillips screwdriver and an Allen key, as well as a USB-C cable that you'll use to charge up your radio. Finally, you get a camera mount for an Insta360 Go, and of course you get some instructions that are pretty easy to follow. All right, let's get our drone set up. So the first thing you're gonna do is take that battery grip, peel off the back, and you're going to stick it onto your drone. This holds the battery in place so it doesn't slide around. Next, that battery strap, you're gonna slide it underneath your battery grip and just put it in place. This is gonna hold your battery on when you go flying. Next, plug in your battery charger, then plug the battery into the charger. It only fits one way. The charger is going to charge your battery and tell you the voltage at the same time. So it's telling you right now, cell 2, the voltage of cell 2 is that, the voltage of cell 3 is this, the voltage of cell 4 is that, and the voltage of the whole battery is this. Now, the cool thing about this charger is it also charges the batteries for your radio, but you don't have to plug it in and charge it this way because maybe you're charging your batteries. You can plug in your radio by itself. Take that USB-C cable that came with your kit and put it in the top of the radio and plug the other end into some sort of power. The radio power button will glow red and when it's finished charging it'll turn green. Now, don't forget to charge up your goggles, so plug in the required adapter that's included and charge them up. Now, when everything's all charged up, go to your radio and push all the switches away from you so none are facing you, and make sure your throttle on the left is all the way to the bottom. Then power on the radio. Next, take one of your batteries, find an elastic and wrap it around the battery. This is an old trick. Take your balance cable and put it underneath that elastic. That's gonna stop your balance cable from flying out and getting chopped by the props. Then connect your battery, the drone will glow and start up and you'll hear all sorts of beeps. Make sure the battery's strapped in tight and make sure your receiver antenna sticking out the back are not touching the props. Power on your goggles and they should immediately find the signal coming from the drone. If they don't, just go to the bottom of the goggles and hit the search button a few times until it finds the image and then you're all set. Now, if you're an FPV beginner newbie, then take the switch B and pull it all the way towards you. That's gonna put the drone into stability mode. Much easier to fly for beginners. Next, to start the motors, make sure you have your fingers not near them and pull this switch up towards you to start, push it away to stop. Now, the radio is also capable of producing voice and different sounds, but you need a micro SD card inserted in the back for that. Our motors. Horizon mode, acro mode, angle mode, buzzer. Now, to add voices, you have to know how to set up a radio. And this is the screen right here where I set up all those sounds, but it probably doesn't make sense to you unless you watch this video of mine called FPV for Beginners, Episode 9, How to Set Up a Radio. It will walk you through and show you the part how to set up all the sounds and look below that video for where to find the sounds. All right, so there you have it. Now, I have to say this. At the time of the recording this video, I was in contact with Banggood to give me some discount coupons for the price you see, and they haven't got back to me yet, so I don't know if there are discount coupons below. But if there are, check below and they will show up eventually. I'm sure this thing will be on sale or I'll have some good discount coupons so you can save some cash. And uh, check the links below to check that out. If you have questions on anything I've shown in this video, just post your questions below. I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more drone reviews. Take care. Bye.